Well, Lord be with you. For our time of self-reflection today, I thought I would go over a hymn and do a little music theory. Because it's really not that hard. Uh, it does take a bit of work and learning, but that's okay. Uh, you know, you can learn it if you want to. So if you get out your hymnal on Sunday morning and you follow along, I'm going to go over a little bit of that. But uh, what this does is also a nice illustration of what I'm looking for as far as us at a, as a church. You know, there's kind of the song that King of Glory Lutheran Church was meant to sing. And I'm looking for what that song is. And I'm looking for people to join in, join into the song, and then invite other people to join in to the song as well. You know, and that means we know the song God wants us to sing. And we all sing in the same key. And we sing the same notes. And we sing together, you know, all at the same time. Now, Actually, there's more to singing together than just all singing the same notes. Uh, but let me do a little bit of music theory first. So if you look at what's called the top line, if you look at the top note here, uh, that's the top note. That's the one that's the, uh, it's the melody line. It's what gives the song the melody. And I'm assuming you know what a melody is. So this, the melody is, blessed Jesus at your word. And if you follow along, the notes are going to tell you two things. They're going to tell you whether to go down or up. So you go, blessed Jesus. Okay. Uh, and they tell you how long to hold that particular note. Okay. So this is what's called a quarter note. It is a ball, a circle with a line. Okay. That's a quarter note. Over here with Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yeah, it's an eighth note. Two eighth notes together make a quarter note. Uh, this is what's called 4-4 four, four timing. You see this little bar right here? That's one measure. And so we Lutherans, we really like to sing 4-4 four, four time. Four quarter notes per measure. You know, one, two, three, four. 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 Okay, there's six, six notes in that line. Okay, interesting. All right, they like to mix things up. Okay. So quarter note, you hold it for one quarter note. That's your beat, you know, blessed Jesus at your word. So you hold it for a quarter note. Over here, you have a half note. It's a circle with a line, okay? And then here you have a quarter note with this little dot and the dot is and a half. So it's a quarter and a half. If you see that dot on, a half note, uh, then you would hold it for three beats because half plus another half, another half of a half, it would be three beats. And if it's just a circle, then it's a whole note. It's a whole note. Did I do four beats? I am not good at keeping time. So quarter note tells you go how long to hold it. It's one beat tells you to go down and then up and then up. And some of you, I know you cannot sing. And so it's just all blessed Jesus at your word. And that's okay too, we love you. We want you to join in God's song for us as well. So if you pay attention, you can keep the beat and you can know whether to go up or down. If you look in your hymnal and read along with it and What's really cool, what's really cool is when we, we're singing the song that God is calling us to sing, some people sing this note, and some people sing this note. That's the soprano, alto, why am I missing um, what that is? And, and then the, the, that's the bass. Okay, and then there's apparently a baritone thing in here that would also be complementary. And these are all related to each other. These, these things that are all in a line, uh, these four notes, uh, they make up a chord basically. And that's when we sing in harmony. So one person is singing this line down here and they're going, blessed Jesus, or something like that. 
And, but it matches perfectly because it's like a fourth or a fifth away from the main note, but that gets really confusing. But if you look at the circle of fifths and you do a little Google study on that, you can do that. But the point is, it doesn't mean we're all singing the same note. It means we're singing in harmony with each other and the harmony is joining in. And we wanna invite other people to join in our harmony. And we're all singing the same song, but singing it in our own unique way, bringing our own contributions. But the important thing is we're buying into it. We're singing the song that God has called King of Glory to sing. And we're singing in harmony with one another. We're singing the same key. We're singing in harmony with each other, and we wanna invite other people to join in as well. And so what do I mean by buy-in? I mean, you're gonna give your time for what God is calling us to do. You're gonna give your energy for what God is calling us to do. And you're gonna give of your resources for what God is calling us to do, right? And it's kind of like singing a song together, right? Amen? Yeah, I, I, think, that's, I think that's pretty good. All right, God's peace be with you, amen.